All right, guys, we're backstage here with Black Dahlia Murder, one of the most kick-ass bands on the planet. How you guys doing? Hello. Pretty good. All right, good. I'm tired. How you doing? <laughs> All right, guys, with following that nocturnal with the greatest DVD of the year, man, how's it going to be trying to top nocturnal, man? Um, well, you know, we realized we kind of hit a like an all-time high with the band there, you know what I mean? Just uh, It was the best record we made at the time, and... Seem to uh, kind of garner a lot of uh, energy and stuff from from fans and stuff. So we just had to come back harder. You know, we uh, have a new guitar player here in, in Ryan Knight, and uh, hi. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, laid down a lot of uh, kick-ass solos and uh, contributed to the songwriting. You know, so uh, and this new record, Deflorate, is gonna uh, definitely exceed people's expectations. Ooh, so it's gonna be more. So it's gonna be more brutal. Yeah, more brutal. That's what, uh, the people that have heard it. The few that have heard it have said that it's uh, more intense. It's the first, the first reaction. So, so how is it being a new guy with these guys? Uh, I don't know. I really don't feel like a new guy anymore, even though I am. But uh, it's been fun. I'm good. I don't feel too out of place or anything. Yeah, he's played a lot of shows so far. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, our schedule is pretty rigorous, so you know. But he's been fitting in. Awesome. Kids love him. Cool forward up on the record so we're, we're blessed to have this man Ryan Knight the beautiful Ryan Knight with Thank us you. very cool and what's what's the craziest tattoos that you've got oh yeah what's the craziest tattoo that you've ever gotten man he, he, homeboy just got this rat pink pretty rat pink. Rat pink. oh dude okay rat All right, well, now, hey what do you think about my smurf my evil black metal smurf that's awesome too that's pretty cool yeah. wow this is, black guys metal should smurf. fight each other yeah man that's pretty cool huh <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't have too many crazy ones, really. I guess the Harbourin one, so... What about you, man? That's fucking I mean, old. I don't know. Pick one, dude. You just want to <laughs> I, have a, yeah. I have a Cyclops Pirate, and I don't know. It's got one one socket with a patch over it. <laughs> Alright, man, now, with having a, a younger fan base, do you guys try to reach out to people like, you know, I'm an old fogey at 38, man. Do you guys try to, like, reach out to people more my age too or just try to play it for whoever wants We're to listen to it for whoever wants to listen to it man we don't discriminate you know we have old fans we have a lot of young fans we have uh, fans from all walks of uh, of heavy metal life you know what I'm saying so it's a it's an all ages event bro but uh you know all our influences are steeped in mostly in like mid 90s death metal you know what i mean so in a way we're kind of a old guy band too i guess if that's what you know you know you're getting at but you know that's just kind of the like our main in area of influence you know old yeah. death metal mid 90s kind of stuff so cool now in 2012 Ozzy and Ted Nugent run for president who do you want to see in the presidency go Nuge the Nuge. Definitely. Nuge. Definitely Ted, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible Ted. <laughs> from Michigan, too. Hell yeah. All right. And you guys have been out doing this for a while, man. What's How's it get with each new album that you put out? Does it get easier to record? Does it get easier to get out on the road? Is it more difficult? I think easier to record, harder out on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, we're just getting older, you know, and... Uh, we have a pretty Olympic band as far as you know the playing goes you know, right. for these guys right here, this motherfucker especially. <laughs> so, you know, but the recording, like you know, we get smarter. Get you know, we've done it a lot of times. We have uh, our, our bass player Bart is an engineer, so having him come into the band also kind of accelerates that process and helps it. And you know, you just learn more about what you you know the process of uh, making something and making it more than just than just uh, music, you know what I mean? You gotta take it to the next level, you know? You learn how to do that in the studio in time, but... So we're getting more comfortable there, but... Just head towards 30 real fast. Right, right. You know? It's it harder every year. <laughs> it's a lot harder. It's hard to, to, to leave the family? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, was, that would be the biggest thing. You know, yeah, I think it, it, well, as we get older, we're kind of uh, looking to settle down more and more, but it just never happens. It just gets worse. But you're not quitting, right? No, hell no, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, this is, we, we interview, like, everybody from different walks of life and different bands and stuff like that. So this is one of the questions that always people kind of go, eh, whatever. Um, does God have a place in heavy metal? Uh, I wouldn't have anything uh, to diss in my lyrics if he wasn't around, really. 
So, yes. Yeah. Uh, I would say so. This, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to even answer that. Yeah. I'm going to go with what they said. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's definitely there in some, some people's lyrics, whether they're bashing him or not. I mean, whatever people get inspiration from, you know? Right. Yeah. Positive or negative, either way. What is uh, some of the ways that you guys have seen out on the road from fans that you talk to a lot, um, the way that your band has had an impact on their lives? What impact have yeah, you like, seen? Yeah, like... Uh, I think you good stories. Kids getting involved in music, you know what I mean, and I think that's cool. That's like the biggest uh, positive thing in my life, still. You know what I mean. What brings me the most joy, and, and just seeing kids like that really want to learn how to play. And uh, you know, I used to play guitar when I was a kid, but I was uh, I never really learned the proper way to do it or anything, or you know, uh, really went for it. But uh, uh, you know, this band has a uh, has a lot of guitar stuff, a lot of riffs, so people you know get influenced to play. Guitar mostly, and uh, that's cool to see. It's, I just want you know people to have fun and I think, uh, being on tours like this and you know uh, being out in, in front of a lot of a lot of kids. You know we, we tend to in, end up being like the uh, gateway, you know uh, gateway band for a lot of kids. You know like they hear us and then you know then, then they start figuring out about all these death metal bands that you know are a little more on the uh, little more on the hush hush. You know like. <laughs> Just bands you don't really hear about, you know, unless you're really into death metal and stuff like that. You know, more underground bands, so to them it's it's a kind of more of like a, a gateway. So that's hey, that's flattering, you know. So what keeps the fire burning for you guys? What keeps you just driving to do this every day, getting up, saying, "I God, this is what I've got to do." Just seeing all the the cool stuff we've been able to do, just how far we've been able to push it, just seems to like be growing bigger and bigger, and this fest and the reactions has just been a testament to that too. So. It's a very exciting time for us always, you know what I mean? Just trying to take it to the limit and, and uh, you know, just stay true to our fans and keep making good records and uh, that's what we want to do, you know, just be a good band. All right, so what's the future, man? What's, what's coming up next after Mayhem? Uh, we got some uh, shows with Slipknot and uh, that'll be cool. We'll be stepping into that kind of like indoor arena setting, which is something we've never done before, you know, and uh, playing on a pretty grand scale those shows, you know what I mean, and uh, we're also touching some states that we haven't hit before, you know, so we're looking for any opportunity to get everywhere and just get as many fans as we can, please as many people as we can, and hopefully this Slipknot thing will be, uh, you know, one of those experiences where you can definitely reach out, branch out to some new kids, you know, so it's exciting, it's a challenge. Well, the last question, I'll, I'll turn the mic over to you guys, say anything you want, to the fans or whoever. Pick up the new album, September 15th. Deflorate, Metal Blade Records. Uh, just yeah, thanks to all the fans and uh, pick a new album up. Peace. Got it. Got it. Cool. Thank you. All right. Peace.